Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm jumping back into Power World. I want to see if I can take on at least one more boss before the No Man's Sky update drops, if it even drops today. Anyway, let's jump on over into game and let's continue forth, shall we, people? So, I've been looking at what bosses might be coming next inside of this game. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to be uh, Marcus and in. Very something. But the actual name almost suggests that the actual creature that I'm going to be going up against, I haven't seen it, might be a fire boast one. So I'm thinking about breeding a pretty awesome sort of water based creature. So the one that I want to go for is Jormantide. And what I need for Jormantide is one of these Electro Grisbolts. And that one is male. And I also need. Nightwing. And is my Nightwing male or female? Let's have a look, see. It doesn't actually say on this screen! Dang you! Oh, yes, it does. It's male as well. That's a male one. So I need to get myself a female um, Grisbolt, really. Let's have a look, see if I've got a female Grisbolt. Let's have a quick look. Bam, bam, bam. I've got quite a lot of Grisbolts. I bred ten of them, just in case I ever needed a female. There's a female, and it's got strong str strategists. Let's see if there's a woman with any better sort of um, abilities. Let's see, look, I've got ten of them. So, any female ones? A female? Oh, look at that! That one's got artisan and strong strategist. Okay. Strong strategist. Ah, strong strategist and artisan. Power of Gaia and Zen Mind. Okay. What else we got? Strong. Okay, nice. That one's got a red one on. We don't really want that one. See, that's got it right as well. You know what? We'll go for the, the, the female. That that one there, I think. So if I just drop that in and replace one of my chickens for a second. There it is there. Go pick it up quickly. Come here, you. You're going into my breeding pen. Thus, here. There we are. Why? Boom. Yeah, you get a breeding. Lovely. Okay, and now what I need is my little pigeon. So let's go get my pigeon. I keep pressing the wrong button to run because I've been playing No Man's Sky so much. Okay, so here we go. Let's grab this one. And let's go and replace out this little chicken. Chicka boom. Come here, you. Sweet. And we're putting you in there as well. There we go. Why? Chicka Okay, right, they're, so they're in there. Now all we need is cake. And we have no cake that's in here right now, people. Did I put any cake inside of there? No, I didn't. Okay, let's go see if we've got any cake on the bake. We have got cake on the bake. We've always got cake on the bake. And I'm probably going to breed maybe, well, a fair few of these as well. Okay, so we've got loads of cake now. We've got 15 cakes. We probably don't need that many cakes. Um, how many shall I breed to start off with? I'm, I'm probably going to do ten of them. So here we go. Let's uh, pick up that and go half again. There we go. We'll, we'll do nine. We'll do nine of them. And then I go all the way down to one cake. Put that in. There we go. We've got ten. We've got ten on the bake. At least then, once I've actually finished making all ten, I'm going to get the XP bonus for doing all ten. So whenever I breed a new creature, I always try to do ten of them. All right, anyway, we better put ten inside of here. Cool. Now, I'm just going to go and check on the website and see if I can find maybe another breeding pair. I might as well do two. Ah, no. We'll just do these at the moment. Let's just make sure they are actually breeding. Is the magic happening? It is happening. Brilliant. Love is blossoming. Brilliant. So we've got those on the bake. So hopefully I get Jormantide. Now, while we're waiting for Jormantide to arrive, let's go and have a look if I can craft myself the bazooka. In fact, did I already craft myself the bazooka? It's a giant freaking rocket launcher that I was thinking about making, people. I've got it now. I can actually do it. But um, is it on this conveyor belt? Let's have a quick look-see. It's a giant freaking rocket launcher. I've unlocked it in the tech tree. Maybe it's not on there, then. Let's go over here a bit. Is it on this one? Lovely, lovely rocket launcher. Where are you? It's not on there. Oh, I can make the ammo on this one. There's the ammo. Rocket launcher ammo. I need a lot of gunpowder. Okay. Uh, I think I can make gunpowder on this belt as well, can't I? 
There we go. Let's make the gunpowder. We'll make a whole load of that then. Now, if I can find an Anubis, people have been telling me, Captain Steve, if you've got an Anubis, throw him at that. It, it'll do all the work for you. Oh, hold on. That little guy's going to go do it. Oh, freaking awesome. Okay, he's doing it. Brilliant. Okay, cool. What about this one? Can I make my rocket launcher on this one? No, that's my power spheres. Okay, I, can, I can't remember which bloody bench makes my... That's power spheres as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, so is this weapons? Weapons, 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 rocket launcher. Where are you? It's not on that one. All right. It must be on this one, the weapons bench. It must be on here. And maybe it was just greyed out and I didn't see it. Let's have a better look for it, people. Rocket launcher. Where are you, freaking rocket launcher? All right, I need to have a look at what actually makes the rocket launcher. Then. Technology. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. It was one of the last things I freaking unlocked. I don't really want to go up against this boss without my rocket launcher, to be honest. There it is, rocket launcher. There we are. So, launch powerful rockets. You need the... Requires weapon assembly line 2 to craft. Oh, okay. I've got weapon assembly line 2 right there. Have I not built it? I haven't built it, people. I haven't built it. So I need to go get a load of refined ingots. So I better go to my refined ingot farm. Okay, let's go to the refined ingot farm. Let's go get a load of refined ingots then. Cool. Alright. And fast travel. B. Refined ingot farm. It's all the way up north over here. Sweet. Let's see how we're getting on over here. So, although this is my ingot farm... Oh, uh, yeah, it does my re refined ingot. Oh, look, I've got loads of them. I'm going to be over-encumbered, aren't I? Yeah, I'm carrying way too much now. <laughs> well, if we can just get back to this console, I'll teleport back and offload it into my storage container, people. Freaking great. Okay. I'll go back down here and go back to my other base... Where is my other base? It's somewhere down here. Oh, there it is. Couldn't see it for looking, people. I've unlocked far more of the map now, and I haven't played this for like a week, so... You know, forgive me if I'm a little bit sluggish. Oh, I'm very sluggish now! Anyway, I want to go and stick this inside of that um, big storage container over there. I don't know what the cow's doing on the roof. Maybe he tried to jump over the moon. The cow jumped over the moon! Yes, of course. Run! Run, Captain Steve, like the wind. Okay, this is going to take me a while to get there. And then I've got to make circuit boards. I'll tell you what, I, I reconvene when I'm at the point that I can make my rocket launcher. Well, people, we're not at the point where we can actually do what I was going to say I was going to do, making my rocket launcher, but we have got our first Jumantile egg. So I'm just going to stick this inside of one of these hatches over here. Let's just stick it in this one at the back. Okay, oh, it looks like I've got a load of eggs that I can hatch. These are the ones that I found out in the wild. That's going to take half an hour. Hopefully, I'm going to be ready to craft the rocket launcher in half an hour. And also a rocket launcher missiles. And I've set out a bit of a party at the moment of creatures that I wouldn't mind upgrading alongside Jumantile to get up to level 50. So I've just readjusted... Oh, hold on, i just got a pretty cool one there. Can climb steep mountains. Cryro links. What the fudge is Cryro links when it's at home? Interesting. All right, let's uh, let's hatch this one anyway. Bam bam bam. Yeah, nice. We've got a couple of over here. Because I'm thinking, if it is like um, oh, I've got another one of those Cryro linkses. And a Wumpro. I think it might be an ice type. I don't think it's a water type. I did have one damp egg amongst all of those, but I didn't pay attention to what I got out of there. Let's go to the last tab and let's see what's dumped into us, shall we? So yeah, ice type, ice type again. I wonder what I got in the damp egg. Oh, I think I got that little freaking thing, didn't I? Yeah, I just got that. All right, fine. And we also got a Ragnarok. Brilliant. Okay, well, this is my party that I've got over here. I'm going to replace the Tansy with Draumantide. But I've also got Penking in there. And a couple of others that I think might be able to assist against a fire type. But, you know, they're not the best. But I quite like the look of them. I just want to see what this guy can do. He looks a little bit useless, but I like his handles bar Tash. All right, anyway, people, I'll continue on until I've got the ability to create my rocket launcher.
Okay, Chums looks like another egg is ready, but I've got a bit of an idea. Rather than keeping the Tansy in here, if I just swap this one out for an Anubis, doesn't matter, just, you know, him, for example, I can throw him at the actual workbenches, can't I? Which would speed stuff up. So let's right, leg it over here. Let's grab a couple more eggs out of here. How many have I got? Is that, is that just the one, though? There is. Okay, cool. And I go stick this into another one of these receptacles. Incubate! Hold on. It looked like there was another one just about to complete. Well, that's not far off, is it? Alright, well, you know what? Let's leg it over to this bench over here. Let's get some circuit boards on the bake and throw my Anubis at it. So we are. Leg it over here. Should be able to make a load of circuit boards now. Circuit boards, circuit boards. Where are you? Maximum. Yep, I want to do max, which is Y. And start production. And if I just get my Anubis, bam, ba bam, bam, ah, yeah. Thank you, people, that gave me that suggestion. Freaking awesome! Oh, look, the little bumblebees at it as well. Cool. Well, while they're doing that, I think I've got another egg. I have got another egg. Brilliant. We're pretty close to having enough resources now to make my rocket launcher. Then I've got to make a shed load of ammo for the rocket launcher. So we're a little way off yet, but hopefully we'd have a Jormantide hatched and in my team at that point. So when I am crafting the ammo, it's going to go up a shed load of levels. Like you can see there that that whole party that I've got is going up levels right now. Me just standing around here ambiently. Because I want to get up to level 50, really, the Jormantide, before I actually go and take on the next boss. So oh, look, look at that. That's, that's really fast progress. Right, well, I'll reconvene in a bit. Okay, people, so step one, I've got to make my weapon assembly line two. And I need to put it in a place that kind of makes sense. That's my weapon assembly line one down there. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get this in. I'll probably put it about here, actually. That probably makes sense. So it's near to my other weapon assembly line in a roundabout way. It's kind of close, anyway. Don't want to block my door too much. We'll put it there, then. Okay, let's go and make this. Sweet! Now, loads of my pals are helping me. Come on, pals! Yes. Weapon assembly line two. This should hopefully allow me to make my rocket launcher, people. And hopefully that's all I'm going to need to take on all these blinking bosses, is what I'm thinking. Anyway, I'll reconvene in a bit. Okay, let's select the Rasapa. And let's see. Aha. There's the rocket ammo. There's the rocket launcher. I need PAL metal ingot. Okay. Polymer. Well, I've just used a shed load of polymer. Dang it. Okay. And also carbon fiber. Darn. Blast. I turned all my polymer. I turned all my polymer into freaking circuit boards, didn't I? Like a complete numpty. I need to go get a load more. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to go kill a load of big creatures to get my polymer. All right. The PAL ingot, I think I can do. And the carbon fiber, I think I can do. Okay, so the carbon fibre, let's see if we can get that on the go. Let's just go over here and see if we can at least get the carbon fibre going. Carbon fibre, carbon fibre, where are you? All the way down here. I need charcoal. Okay, alright. Over here. We'll make the charcoal first then. We obviously don't need that much. But yeah, let's, let's get that on the bike. Oh, let's use right trigger actually. Bound, bound, bound. Okay, 40. We'll do that. Brilliant. We've got it. We've got a pal that can go do that. He's on his way. Here he comes. Nice. And uh, yeah, so I reconvene, I guess, when I've, I've got some resources to get the rocket launcher on the go. Well, he, he's finished doing all that charcoal. All right, fine. No, that was super quick. Well, let's do this then. So there we are. Power fragment. I've only got enough to do one. Seriously? Right, well, I need to go get a load of ore then, don't I? I'm fine. I go back to my ore farm, pick up a shed load of ore, and I'll be right back over here. Right, well, I've got a shed ton of ore, so let's go and stick this in here. Kapow. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do as many as we can of them. There we are. We've got pal metal ingots on the bake, and we've got one of our um, pals coming over now to get that sorted. All right, well, that's going to take a little while. Let's go and pick up another one of these Jormantal eggs and stick it inside of the old hatchery. Because, you know, if, if we can get at least one Jormantal in my party by the time we manage to hatch ten of these little guys, 
Then we get a massive XP boost for him. Okay, so let's uh, get him in. Kaboom! And we've still got 13 minutes on that one, people. So I'm making a lot of progress. Okay, well, I need to make more polymer, which means I need to go and hunt down and kill creatures. So, um, yeah, we'll be um, taking this guy along. How many bow shots have I got? I've got freaking loads. This is perfect. Okay, right, okay. Um, we won't, won't be doing you just yet, mate. I'm going to fast travel to an area where I know where I can actually harvest a creature. So right over at the start, there's a decent creature I can harvest, which is that little... Yeah, that guy there. Grassy Behemoth. We go there. He's slightly tougher than the wild versions. He's a boss version. So you see that giant green mammoth? He's a good one to actually kill. I didn't bring any freaking fire types, though, with me. Oh. Right, there we go. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong button. There you are. Go get him. He's not the best to take on this guy, but he's level 50, so he should make short work of him. We just want him dead. We're not going to capture him. We're just going to kill him. Take that, you! Mammoth! Yeah, you're going down. Oh, yeah! Get him, pigeon! I guess. Oi, stop hurting my pigeon! Oh, yeah! Yes! Miss me? Mate, I've played Elden Ring. You don't stand a chance. Yeah, I've got a full Elden Ring playthrough, people. Where I play as a sneaky demon. I guess I do. Very sneaky. Go on, get him. I don't know why the triumphant music just decided to stop. Oh, you want some of Cativa? Freaking heard I played Elden Ring, did you? Alright, well, there you are. Have some. Wow! There you are. There you go, you're dead. Right, let's go pick up all the bits. There you go, you've got 30 high quality power oils for killing that one. Now I need to go and find myself some more of these guys. Now where do they spawn? So if you ever want to know where a creature spawns, find it inside of your PAL deck. Select it, and then you press the right trigger. Oh, that was the wrong right trigger. It's the back right trigger. And it shows you the habitat there. So, yeah, just to the west. Ooh, not far from where my base is, to be honest. So we can have a look around there, I suppose, people. Well, back at base. Let's just check on the Wixen. Let's see how he hasn't done too many of them. All right, fine. And let's see if we can just start the polymer going on here so how much how much polymer can i do there let's just pick that up i can do 15 oh yeah not too bad not too bad at all okay well we'll have that going on there uh, and i think i need the wiccan to actually pick that up as well i mean i haven't got the anubis in my group at the moment because we need to go and get some more polymer that cow on the roof is doing my nutting i'm just going to get him off the freaking roof hopefully we can just chuck him off come here you pick him up then Pick him up. Oh, he's stuck. Proper stuck. All right, fine. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can fast travel and, and find another one of these. Um, well, actually, I can just fly there, can't I? Because I'm near it. I'll go and find one of those mammoths. Well, chums, I haven't had much luck. So I'm going to be going into this one. The Seal of the Esoteric. Let's just hope we get some from killing this guy inside of this dungeon. Yep. Oh, OK, it's this guy. I don't think you get any from killing him. Die! We got him on half health already. It's got to night time, so I might as well just kill this guy and go to a fast travel spot. Hiya! Take that in the face! Oh, there he goes, dead. Yeah, he didn't give me anything. Great! Okay, well I didn't find any more of those elephants like our same people. And it was further than I thought to fly there. I should have fast travelled over. Cool. 
Okay, people, I think one of my German tides is getting very close to being ready to be hatched -cated. Let's go and have a look, see? Oh, it's ready! Let's go and hatch my German tide. Let's see what we get, people. Yes, Artisan and Swift! Cool. Okay, he's only level one. All right, fine. Well, let's get him inside of my party then, peeps. Okay. X. So we've got German Tide, which is good. That's like part one of what I'm hoping to get. Let's go all the way over to the end box. And you know what? I might replace out the electric unicorn because I don't think he's going to do me any favours. Well, actually, we could get rid of Depresso. Yeah, Nightmare Ball. Hmm. I was hoping he might be able to put status effects on, on things, you know? He might still be a good choice to take. I don't know. Whereas this guy... He could be quite awesome, though. He looks he looks awesome. I don't Or even... Yeah. We'll just replace our... That guy for now. There we are. We'll, we, we'll take German Tide in the group for now. Okay, peeps. And... What was I going to do next? Oh, yeah. Let's see how the polymer's getting on. I don't think anybody's taken up arms to actually make this stuff. I might just do it myself, like this. Because then at least my uh, German Tide's going to go up a fair few levels while I'm doing it. Okay, people, now I think I know where another one of those mammoth actually spawns anyway. I'm sure I've seen one near to where I get all of my um, quartz. So where I get my quartz is on that walkway up over here. So here we go. It's not the cold shore. It's one that sounds like No Man's Sky. No Man's Trail. That's where you want to go. And I'm pretty sure I've seen one of those big green frickin' elephants just roaming around here like all willy-nilly a couple of times in the past. Um, he's not going to be here now, is he? There he is. I see him. Sweet! Let's go murder that. Okay, Collier. Boom! In the backside. I wonder how my German Tide will do against him. Hmm. Probably not the best one to throw out since he's... Nope! He nearly died! Okay, uh, we'll throw out my Pigeon. Because yeah. this guy's level 40. Is he dead? Did we just kill him? We did. Brilliant. Okay, cool. I don't think there's any other creatures in close proximity that um, is also going to give me the high quality pal oil. Anyway, we, we can just sort of farm this guy and also the first boss guy. You know, I'd have to sleep like three nights or something. But at least I know where to definitely spawn on a regular basis. I have seen more though. That's the annoying thing. I just can't remember where I've seen them. Go on. Okay, I've not been in this one before. Now this is just sort of right in the middle here. I think, oh, what am I going up against? A Petalia. Okay, cool. I'm going there then. I don't think it's going to give us any more that I can make all the um, weird stuff out of. But let's um, let's do this anyway. Let's use my fire crossbow, I think. Wakey, wakey! Okay. I think I've already got one of these. I'm not 100% sure. Wonder if it likes that power ball. Hmm. Oops, missed it. Oh dear. Uh, let's use the Mega Sphere then. Hmm. No, it doesn't like that one. Giga Sphere? Yeah. Doesn't like that one either. Hyper Sphere. Yeah. Let's see if we can catch it. it. Might give us a power fluids even if we do catch it. I'm not sure if we've got one of these or not. Mm, okay. I think that was the first one I've ever caught of that. Infantry was full though. Dang it. Okay, so I didn't get the full sort of repertoire of what we could have got from that one. Oh well, yeah, that was a first capture. First capture, nice. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll leave the dungeon. Okay, so we can make another nine polymer. I can't remember how much polymer I actually need, so let's just get this done anyway. Cool. Well, at least German Tide's gone up to like level 38 now. It's going to hit level 39 any second. Yep, hopefully after I've crafted these, it's going to be on level 39. I don't think that's strong enough to go take on the boss, so this episode might just be me making my rocket launcher and the ammo. Yeah, I mean, it's been fun, hasn't it? I had a little bit of fun doing it, to be honest. But yeah, I don't think I'm quite ready yet. 
Okay, how are we getting on with those? Nice one. You've you've done a bloody sterling job, my friend. I just want I just want to pick that up without getting burnt. You're not going to burn me, are you? No, there we are. Okay, cool. Uh, I wonder if I can actually make the rocket launcher at the very least right now. Let's go and have a look, see if we can make the rocket launcher. And we are short on everything. Okay, we haven't actually made the carbon fibre yet. We still need more pal ingot. Holy fudge. Okay, well that's um, that's a surprise. Uh, let's see how much carbon fibre we can make. Because we did make a load of charcoal earlier and I didn't turn it into carbon fibre. So we are. let's get that underway. And if I had my Anubis in my party still, I could just throw him at that workbench. Let's go get the Anubis. And I go throw him at the workbench, people. So here we are. Let's pick him up. Put him in there. Boom. Anubis! Yeah. Get back here. He wasn't close enough. Yeah! Get to work. You watch how fast he is, man. Whoever gave me that tip, thank you very much. It's freaking awesome, I guess. Okay, right. Well, we got that done then. Thank you, Anubis. Back to the ball. And how are you getting on with those? You got another nine to go. I go get a load more ore. I'm gonna go back to my ore farm. Oh, we've got some more eggs to put in for Jomon Tide. And I picked up some eggs while I was out adventuring, looking for mammoths. Anyway, let's pick these up. I'm just gonna stick these in incubators. Any others that I can hatch? Oh, I've got two I can hatch. Here we go. Let's have a look. See. Let's see what abilities this one has. St strong strategist and artisan. Better for base than. Um, in pal deck, but there we are. Oh, he's got two yellow ones there. That that's not good. Right, there we are. Let's stick this one in there. That one we're sticking. That one. We've had quite a good batch so far. Well, this one's only got 19 seconds left. Let's just leg it over here. Let's just go stick an egg in here. I think that's a dragon egg or dark egg, actually, isn't it? Yeah, dark egg. I'm going to stick that one in there. Get those sort of hatched. Let's go back over to that one that was only 19 seconds remaining. This could be German time episode if I don't manage to make my rocket, rocket launcher. Oh yeah, there's a few things we've done in this episode. Give mammoth positions. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good going actually. All right, anyway, I'm going to go get some ores from over at my ore farm. Meow. All the way up in the top of region of Z map. There we go. I'll be back when I've got ores. Okay, well this guy's just finished making my last lot of palingots. I'm gonna get him to make some more now. There you go, mate. When you do another 25, please. I guess. So if he does make the other 25, how close am I to making my freaking rocket launcher? Wow, okay, yeah, I only need ten. I still need to make more polymer, and I still need more carbon fibre. Okay, right. Cool. Well, I could go make a load more charcoal, but that furnace is in use. So I go to my other base and make it there, perhaps. Oh, we got some more eggs. Lovely. This must be getting close to the last of the eggs now. Not enough cake, so maybe I've done the ten. We'd have to hatch all these and find out. Right, well, I'll go over to my other base and... Um, I'll make some charcoal at the other base, people. Wrong button. Yeah, I can make loads of charcoal here. There we are. Uh, we'll make charcoal. I'll put half and half on here. So 23. There we are. We'll do 20 on that one. And we'll do the other 26 on that one. There we go. We'll get a load of charcoal off of there. Just need to sleep the night. Lovely jubbly. Now I can just hack down a couple of trees and get a load more sort of carbon. To... Oh, fudge and heck, I'm climbing the walls. People can climb the walls. I mean, these should be being smelted right now. Why are these not being smelted? Oi, smelters, where are you? Okay, hopefully they get smelted in a bit, people. A bit weird. Where are they? Right, one second. Well, there he is, there. What was he bloody doing, then? 
don't know. Okay, I'm going to take him out and put him back in. And take him out and put him back in. Get smelting, get bags. Go on. Yes, there we go. That's better. Don't know where the other one freaking legged it off to. But hopefully he'll be here in a bit and he'll do this one. Oh, here we go. He's on his way. Cool. I mean, they're pretty good at smelting the old carbon. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. So you can also use carbon fibre. Well, coal to make carbon fibre. So here we go. I've got loads of coals. Let's just get my Anubis on that. Nice. Go, Anubis, go. Okay. You're going to see my um, German type go up loads of levels there. So hopefully, Coolio. Nice. Just sit here ambiently and go up levels. Why not? Okay, chums, we now have enough metal ingot, which is great. We need more polymer. We've got the carbon fibre on the bake now. The only thing is, if I leave here, my Anubis goes with me, which means the work stops on all of that lovely carbon fibre. Now, we only need 50, so I need to grab 30 off of that conveyor belt. Holy fudge, he's already done 70. All right, come on, then. Come back into your power ball. You can finish that off later, my friend. So there we go. Let's just offload some of this stuff. Oh, great. It's not let me interact with that box for some reason. Let's go over to this one, then. And if I just put over all of that carbon fibre that I just made. Lovely. And we're going to hunt some more mammoths, I think, people. And hopefully we get enough of the polymer. Sweet, the boss one's restored. So let's um, let's go kill him. I'm going to use a fire arrow in the face. Yes, it afflicted burns straight away. That's what we like to see. And I'm going to throw out the um, the Unicorn of Evil on him. There you go. Get him. Boom. Like, yes, Unicorn. Get him. Uh, hold on. I think the Mammoth is a ground type. Probably not the best. So let's uh, throw out my Anubis then. Yeah. Get him, Anubis. Still not the best type. A fire type's the best one to harvest mammoths. But um, I still haven't got the fire like one that I really want. I'll have to try and breed a really good fire type at some point. There's a few that I like. I haven't decided on which one I like. I like Incineram. I've got a few Incinerams. I've got ten Incinerams. But he's not my favourite in Cineram. I quite like the big fire monkey. I haven't got him yet. In fact, I think that might be the guy that we're going to go fight once I've got my rocket launcher. Could be wrong. Yes! Yeah, it's just stuck on the freaking environment. Oh, no, you're not. Come on, Anubis. Kill him. Nice one, Anubis. Got him. Right where we want him. Hi ah, get him, Anubis. Nice one. I want to save my fire arrows. I mean, if we are going up against a fire monster, though, I don't know whether fire arrows are going to do much. Don't know whether you can inflict burn on a fire monster. We'll find out, though, eh? Maybe I need poison arrows or something. But we'll have our rocket launcher anyway. Hopefully, the rocket launcher inflicts burn. And we've got our high quality pal oil. That's why we came here. That's why we killed this guy. Okay, let's see if we can make enough polymer using this guy's innards. I guess. Go make a load more polymer, hey? Let's go do this. Back to base. Base is right next door. Okay, got my Anubis now doing the polymer. I'm overloaded because I went and took all the freaking bits and bobs off that conveyor belt. Hopefully it's going to let me access this box. I don't know whether it's here just for show or wherever I put it here, to be honest. Come on. Hopefully I can access it. Yes, I can. And can I put this stuff in it? No, I haven't got any room for coal. Let's take that out then. And let's put all of this in. Boom. There we go. should be able to move around a bit now. How are you getting on, Anubis? You're done, are you? Okay, cool. I think I can make maybe one more polymer if I'm lucky. No, I can't. I haven't quite got enough. I need two. All right, fine. Back to your ball. 
Let's see if I've got enough now on the old polymers. Should have all the carbon fibre as well. I have! We've got enough! Just enough! Brilliant. Start production. And can I put my Anubis on there? I can! Freaking awesome. Okay, that's going to take a little while. Let's go see how our eggs are doing. And we're going to have our rocket launcher. But we need to make ammo for the rocket launcher. And that's going to take a little while. So let's go and hatch this one. Nice! That's a 5 out of 10 now. Any others? Yep, yeah, you're ready. Should be 6 out of 10. Nice. That one's got a, uh, one's got one offset though. Not bad. Okay, so that's 7 out of 10. 8, 9 and 10. Alright, cool. We can take these guys out of the breeding pen then. Cool. Replace them back with their chickens. Pow. And again. Lay a little egg for me. Yes, there we go. Back to making cakes. All right, well, there we go. That's that's pretty much that. Let's see how our Anubis is getting on with the old rocket launcher. We've got our rocket launcher, people. Heck, yes, we do. Back to your ball. Rocket launcher. Sweet. What am I going to replace out? Probably the old um, metal pickaxe, because why not? I might have to do some repairs on these, but now I've got to make a shed load of ammo for that. Uh, which one would probably be the best one for ammo? Probably this one over here. Rockets, rockets, rockets. How many rockets can I make? Let's have a look. We can make them. Aha. I think I can only make one at the moment because I haven't got a lot of power metal ingots. We're going to have to make a load of new power metal ingots. Okay, well, you know what? I think next episode, people, we're going to be making rocket ammo and then we're going to go and hunt for the boss. And we're going to have one go at trying to take on the boss and see how we do. And that's going to be in the next episode, people. So this episode was just making a rocket launcher. And you know what? I'm going to I'm going to fire it. We've got one bullet. We need we need we need a test subject. OK, we've got two test subjects right there. They don't know their test subjects. Let's get a bit closer. I've never fired one of these before, people. So this could be this could go horribly wrong. Did you see those damage numbers? Oh, yes. We blew those sheeps to shite. Man, that was awesome. Okay, right, yeah, we, we definitely need to craft a lot more ammo for this thing. Oh, that is brilliant. Heck, yes, it is. All right, so there we are, people. So our next episode, I'm going to be making a heck of a lot more rocket launcher ammo. And then we're going to go and have a look at the next boss. We're going to find his location, dial him in, and we're going to try once against him. If we beat him, we beat him. If we don't, we don't. Hopefully you're going to tune in for that. I think it's going to be a freaking fun rocketing episode. Rocketing, sure, I said that there, I guess. Anyway, people, thank you very much for watching How to Build Your Rocket Launcher in Power World. There was so much more that we did inside of this video, which you find a lot in my videos, because it's kind of like a playthrough, as well as tips. Yeah, it's a bit different. Hopefully you enjoyed it anyway, people. Salute them on, though. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.